Hey, my name is Brian Collier, and I'm one of the pastors at The Orchard. And as part of our daily devotional of encouragement for you, I get to spend some time with you today in Psalm 46. Listen to what it says. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. A river brings joy to the city of God, the sacred home of the Most High. God dwells in that city. It cannot be destroyed. From the very break of day, God will protect it. The nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble. God's voice thunders and the earth melts. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Come see the glorious works of the Lord. See how he brings destruction upon the world. See he causes wars to end throughout the earth. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear. He burns the shield with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. So it's virtually impossible to know the original life situation in which David wrote this psalm. But the words are pretty appropriate for this season of our life, right? Um, the psalmist says right at the start, he is our refuge and strength. About middle ways down, he calls God our fortress, and he concludes with those words, too, that God is our fortress. We're given three images, three metaphors there, refuge and strength and fortress. God is their strength. As their strength, he is like a refuge where one finds rest and peace. His strength is also evident when they say that he, when the psalmist says that God is a fortress. The fortress, I'm sure you're aware, was an isolated, elevated place where people could retreat and build a stronghold against the enemy. Now, uh, a key word in this psalm, uh, in the Hebrew, uh, the word is, he is for us. Uh, the English translation says, he is our. He is our strength. He is our refuge. He is our fortress. And that's a key word because that's why we can say with confidence that we have nothing to fear is not God is a refuge or God is a fortress or God is a strength. He is our. And the psalmist is insistent on this. In fact, if you look, the very first verse says he is our uh, refuge and strength. And the very last verse says he is our refuge and our fortress and by starting with that and ending with that insistence, the psalmist is saying this is the first word and the last word on the matter. God is our refuge and strength and fortress. Uh, in between those two declarations, he points out that uh, the nations might be the, the nations might be an economic crumble. It says uh, the nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble. Doesn't matter. God's our refuge and strength and our fortress, even if the threat is economic. Um, it might be militaristic. It might be an army that comes against us. doesn't matter because God causes wars to end throughout the earth. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear and burns the shield with fire. That's verse 9. That, that's the threat. Uh, it doesn't mean if it's a natural threat. Uh, so we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. You know why? Because God is our refuge and our strength and our fortress. So it doesn't matter what our circumstance is. The truth stands in light of all the threats. And, and we are, as people who know that, as people who God is our refuge and strength and fortress, are to, verse 10, be still. Don't, don't fight uh, chaotically. Don't run in panic. Don't live fearful lives. Be still and know that God was and is and will be our refuge and our strength and our fortress. Every, we know it. Everybody is going to acknowledge it everywhere on the planet, every nation, throughout the world. God, this is going to be acknowledged. And we get this, the people of God, the people of God get this incredible opportunity in the middle of all of the chaos, and let's admit it's a little chaotic right now, right? In the middle of all this chaos, 
Those of us who know that he is our refuge and strength and fortress have a special opportunity to live our lives in light of that truth. And when we do, by our actions, the rest of the world gets to see that truth lived out. 21 years ago, the orchard started with this simple vision that we wanted to help people grow deep in the love of Jesus and branch out to others with that love. We have this incredible opportunity in this season to branch out to others with that love because we're not afraid, we're not fearful. God is our refuge and our strength and our fortress. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you uh, for these timeless truths. You have been, you are, and you will be our strength, our fortress, our refuge, and we rejoice and praise you for these truths. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hey, just a couple things before you go. I want to remind you that if you want to receive a text every morning that gives you a scripture to read for the day, text READ PLAN, R E A D P L A N, all together, READ PLAN, to 662 269 0328. If you want to hear some great worship music, find our playlist, our worship playlist on Spotify. You can do that by clicking the banner on the link in this video. Have a great day.